Yeah, but you you want to know something? We touched base on this earlier. Uh, we were talking about that Charlie Sheen movie, Navy mm-hmm, Seals, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And and how Hollywood glamorizes, you know, snipers and being a Navy Seal, an Army Ranger, a Green Beret. Mm-hmm. Is there a movie that any of us can watch mm. that that tells it exactly like it is? Because you said no s- sane yeah. person no. would would ever want no no nobody who's educated, nobody who literally has any sense about themselves would sign up to be a sniper knowing that they're going to see and do some of the things that you have seen and done yourself. Mm-hmm. Is, is, have you ever seen a movie out there that, that, that brings it home just truly like this is what it is. This is what you can expect. And trust me when I tell you, mm-hmm. you don't want no parts of this. Hmm. Maybe there's two movies, but I mean, one was back in World War II. That's Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. And I would say like the opening scene, I have never been through anything like that. But I guess the intensity of you don't know if you're going to live or die, I guess from that outlook on it. I mean, you could kind of look at it that way from Saving Private Ryan, that beginning scene where they're storming the beaches of Normandy. And then you have um, Marcus Luttrell's movie. Lone, uh, lone survivor. Um, certain aspects in that firefight, watching his friends die, that was pretty, you know, realistic. I think. But as far as what it's like from to show the truth without the Hollywood glamorization on it, glamorizing it, I don't think that there's a movie out there. I don't. And if there was, it would be. I don't know what you would rate it. You know, it would mess certain people up. Mm -hmm. You can only be so graphic in movies and only go so far of what really goes on in war. And most of the stuff that goes on in war is rarely talked about. Rarely talked about just because it's 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 sometimes it it is hell. You know, sometimes it is. Sometimes you see the most messed up stuff that it's better off not talking about. For mental, spiritual whatever reasons to cope, but to grasp and capture everything that happens in combat, there's no movie out there that does that. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that if I told people, one, you'd be looked at like you're crazy. Two, yeah, they just look at you like you're crazy. If some of the stories that happen or go on over there, you know, came out. And I'm not saying it's like bad, bad, bad stuff. It's just things you'd never expect to see. You know, you never, uh, no, a little example. I was a new guy. Uh, my first deployment, we were in Tikrit, Iraq. And a sniper, before I was a sniper, I was a, just a new guy. Um, the sniper was on a rooftop overwatching us on the ground. Um, laying down, watching my little sector, making sure nobody comes in my sector. But there's a, a hut, a small house beside me off to my left. And I can hear footsteps in it and like ruckus, uh, like ruckus and people just making a lot of noise and, and banging around. I knew they were doing something in there. I didn't take anything of it until I heard the glass. I heard a snap and a gl- the glass break and water and a body fall or something fall. But I didn't find out till what it was after the fact was the sniper had shot a lady who was grabbing an AK and she knew I was right there. I had no idea she was up, you know, noticing where I was at, but he shot her, she was pregnant. And that water that I heard come out was, I guess her water, the fluid and the baby popped out of her stomach right there on the floor. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, split her open, the pressure and yeah, split her open. And I'll never forget that. That's this one and that's not even like the, the worst thing. Nah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> early in the conversation, I, I'm sitting here like with my mouth open. You were talking about how the team had to go back and and they're putting parts of heads together and mm-hmm. body parts, and they're like, "Well, let's just call it five. We think it's five people yeah, here." Like yeah, that, yeah. you know how crazy that is. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> At the time, I mean, it doesn't seem like it. Then I didn't like it. I'm not gonna say I didn't like it. 
Um, I just wanted to, to, I don't know, it stunk really bad. That's what was getting me. And I wasn't, it just smelled really bad. I didn't like the, the smell of that. You know, that, and, that's, and that's one of the things that Hollywood will never be able to capture. There you go. Yeah. Is, it, you know, we, we have five senses. So, yes, you, you can capture the sight. You can capture the, the sound. Um, but that smell has got to be. Yeah, you never forget. This burning flesh, yeah. Never forget that. Uh, the, the sound of it bubbling and the smell of it. Yeah. And no one's ever captured, like, the blood-curdling scream of someone. There's actors. Actors can only act mm -hmm. so far, but to really get that that soul scream of, this is it, my last one, it, I've never heard that before. I've only heard it over there. I've never heard it on film. Mm -hmm. But once you hear it, you never forget it, though.